What's up, Fanversation fans? I'm Katie Cullen, and I'm here at San Diego Comic Con 2023 talking Mortal Kombat 1. Here's who I talked with today. I'm here with Yuri Lowenthal. How are you doing today? Oh, so good. Comic Con is my favorite party in the world. <laughs> it's a wild one this year. Yeah, and it's been it's been years since I've been here, so it's it's been it's been extra exciting and extra weird. <laughs> yeah, it's same. It's it's a fun yeah. one to come back in on. Yeah, truth. So, we're talking about Mortal Kombat 1, and you voice the character of Smoke, who is a legacy character, but we're also working with a reboot here. So, yes. tell me a little bit about this version of Smoke and how you approached him. Well, that was uh, the thing that I found most exciting about jumping in on this version of Mortal Kombat, because they're really paying attention in a way that they've never done before to the characters, their relationships, this, you know, a story driving the action, the world that we're in. It, you know, Mortal Kombat has always been cool, yeah. but it's always been sort of very disparate and weird, and you don't quite understand yeah. what the characters mean to each other and why they're fighting, and, you know, for most fighting games, you don't have to care. Uh, but what I loved, you know, just as an actor, to, you know, to have stuff to go off of, to have stuff to drive the dialogue, and even the taunts, you know, were different because I knew... Because Dominic Cianciolo, the, the writer, he was also the, the voice director, mm -hmm. was able to give me context yes. for the relationships between the different characters and what was going on at the time and what the story was and, you know, why, the whys, the wheres, all of that stuff. Yeah. So then, because this is a fighting game with meat to it, yes. what's your favorite relationship? Smoke and whom? Um, you know, I will... Smoke is the, the adopted... In this, in this retelling... Smoke is the adopted brother of Sub-Zero and Scorpion. And I will say that they, they have very different relationships. And one is more antagonistic and one is more, you know, brotherhood. And it was fun, it was fun playing both of those within that, that family dynamic. Because one of the biggest, I hesitate to call it a rivalry, it's more of a blood feud. It really is. is I mean, this is Mortal Kombat after all. Yeah, yeah. Is Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So mm -hmm. does Smoke have a particular side of that he's on then if one is angry and one is more brotherly yes he does and i'm just trying to decide if i should let you know which one that i think he's closer to scorpion is, is really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Ooh, you heard it here first right? good times fun i think fun. okay for me to say <laughs> <laughs> i i think it'll be by the time this goes up sure fair enough <laughs> here we go all right, one last fun question. If you yourself had a fatality, what would it be? <laughs> uh, that is, uh, that is, if I had a fatality, just, just knowing me, it would be, I would, I would punch someone and it would set up vibrations throughout their body and it would, and it would just give them this really nice massage and work out all the kinks in there. So is it sort of the opposite of a fatality? It's like the massage punch. So you would have a friendship from, like, way back when the classic games. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for talking with oh, me. Oh, you're so very welcome.